What's up guys, welcome back to the Run With Jay channel. So today we're gonna to be talking about trail shoes and specifically the Nike Pegasus Trail 3. So the Trail 2 that was released last year was a big hit. I really like the changes and upgrades Nike did for that version. So in this video, we're gonna take a look at the 3, see if it's made any changes or see if this shoe is worth getting over the 2. So if this is your first time to the channel, welcome. Please hit that like and subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications. And thanks to all my returning subscribers for all your contribution and support. So let's get this review started. So the Nike Pegasus Trail 3 was released in June of 2021. The price of the shoe remains the same at $130, which is pretty much the same price for all of Nike's trail running shoes. Um, the weight pretty much has stayed intact. So for a size 10, the weight is 11.3 ounces. And for a size 8.5, which I wear, it's about 10.5 ounces. Um, I, in my opinion, I, I wanted to go down half a size for my regular running shoe size, which is 8.5. And I actually like the size of an 8 better for a more snug fit. Um, I hate when I'm running on the trails and my feet slides all over the place. And not only you know, can cause injuries, um, but also isn't very comfortable. So I like my trail shoes to be a little more snug. Um, and especially when you're running uh, in trails, you know, rocks and a lot of tree roots, your feet slides a lot. So you know, your foot sometimes comes a little loose. Um, and what's important is feeling like your feet is locked down in the shoe. And this shoe definitely delivers um, that um, in my opinion. So this shoe has the same offset as well with a 9.5 millimeter offset with a 15 millimeter in the forefoot and 24.5 in the heel. And this color that I have is the early release color, the Mystic Teal University Blue. And there's also a black and white version available. But knowing Nike, you're gonna see tons of colors for this shoe coming out in the future. And there's probably gonna release a Gore-Tex version of this as well for the winter and fall time. So this shoe is made up of a few important components, very similar to last year. You have in the top, the mesh upper, which is very breathable. Um, you know, I don't have any issues with that. It pretty much has stayed the same. It also has the rubber studs in the front as well as the toe fang, which they call it for, you know, your toes if you're hitting rocks or anything hard surfaces in the trails. Um, the laces has pretty much stayed the same. Uh, the upper really is the biggest change of this year where they changed the upper and added these like a rubber, I guess, uh, siding to the side of the laces. Also, there is a dynamic band system around the midfoot that gives you a secure support as you tackle the uneven paths of the trail. Uh, last year, there was a midfoot cage that helps you know keep your foot secure. The tongue this year, they got rid of the perforated holes and added just like a pretty thick uh, padding on the tongue so when you're lacing your shoes it doesn't hurt and it helps keep your foot locked in as well so definitely in terms of fit and comfort the shoe is a little bit better compared to last year and in the midsole which is you know the foam you have the same nike full length react foam which is very you know durable um, it lasts long and it's very comfortable as well great for trail running um, they could, you know, Nike does have softer foams as well, but they're not that great for hard and you no know, trail services. So the React foam is very durable and hard and also soft at the same time, which is great for trail. So that hasn't changed. The outsole with these uh, shockwave pattern is pretty much the same as last year. I really like the shockwave pattern because as you transition from trail to roads, if you run in multi surfaces, um, it doesn't feel like you're actually running on trail. This makes it run the transition between the surfaces really smooth. So I'm a big fan of that. And it also helps grip, you know, on the terrain while you're running. So I didn't have any issues with slipping or anything like that. So that has stayed the same. Also, the pull tab in the back is smaller as well compared to a longer pull tab design in the second version. And uh, they also added some reinforcements in the back for, you know, a water resistance. Uh, but overall, pretty much the look and style of the shoe has stayed the same. You know, I think this is a year that Nike just makes minor updates to all of his shoes, I guess, um, since a lot of the changes in their shoes were pretty much upper changes. So not many changes with their shoes, especially with this one as well. So basically another upper change um, to their lineup. So when comparing the Trail 2 versus the 3, at first glance, you probably can't really tell the difference besides the color, obviously. Um, the main change is obviously the upper. There's a new dynamic band system compared to the lockdown cage and the perforated tongue that this year they got rid of. And they just put a nice padded thick tongue on there for a lockdown support. 
The laces are pretty much the same. They got rid of the sock liner in the back to help prevent things from getting in and they just replaced it uh, with the standard, you know, a padded uh, heel collar area like a regular Pegasus shoe, which they were trying to go back onto those routes. So this shoe looks very similar to like the Pegasus 36 trail that I really enjoy uh, before they kind of you now change the name to just Nike Pegasus trail. So if you look at the two shoes, the silhouette kind of looks very similar. They kind of brought back the Pegasus style um, of the shoe. Um, I really enjoy the 36 because it's, you know, it's very light and it's very, uh, a shoe and it kind of just exactly what I need even though this isn't react foam just cushion it's still very durable um, the shoe is definitely a little bit softer than Nike Pegasus trails um, overall you know 36 trails just basic had everything you need for the trails nothing fancy um, but you know the you pretty much added some enhancements with the toe fang um, and the band system and the, toe, the tab in the back, which is nice to getting your shoe on and off, especially when it's dirty. And they added definitely more padding in the back of the shoe for support. Um, and the tongue is definitely better on the trails compared to the 36 trail um, when they kept it like the Pegasus shoe uh, style. So the biggest changes when the trail uh, shoes took over was the React Foam. And the React Foam is a very durable foam. It's also soft and responsive. And I think it's great for the trails. And uh, with the added studs on the bottom of the shoe, it helps keep the foam last a lot longer and also softer when you're stepping on hard rocks and hard terrain. So I'm a big fan of the React Foam and also this Shockwave pattern, uh, which is great for transitioning between surfaces. The Pegasus 36 Trail wasn't that good. You know, if, as you're running on concrete, if you're moving from dirt, you can feel like you're running on these uh, these studs, which doesn't feel very comfortable if you're running on, uh, you know, pavement for a while on this shoe pretty much feels the same like you're running with a regular running shoe on pavement that's very smooth they kind of designed this pattern like a tire of a bicycle which you know is pretty interesting so first run in this shoe is pretty much very similar to the trail 2 I do notice the dynamic band system that they have on the upper does help with your foot a little bit to give you a better fit. Uh, my shoelaces didn't come loose that often compared to the Trail 2 and my foot didn't move around that much. It's definitely a little bit softer as well around the heel ankle area with, now that they got rid of the ankle uh, liner and they added these cushion in the end so it was a very comfortable ride in my opinion. The React foam you know, felt very similar compared to last year and nothing has changed as well. The toe fang, which I really like as well, which in case I always, you know, hit my toe on a stub or a branch or something. So having this really helps. Um, the, you know, pretty much, you know, it, this felt just like a Pegasus Trail 2 while running in it. Um, I don't have any uh, complaints about the shoe. I do like the minor upgrade to the, um, the top with the upper. You do feel more locked in. And then the tongue is also a little bit asymmetrical, um, so, which is interesting, but doesn't really, you know, I guess do anything uh, particular uh, it's just the design but the padding and cushion on the tongue this here is very nice so you can lace your shoes up pretty tight and uh, foot th your foot doesn't move around that much on the trails um, you know I like the mesh yeah, that's great as well but I do wish that one day they would make like a water resistant material that can help with rain if you're running in mud a lot um, it's a pain to wear the shoe and you know have to wash it afterwards because you know they, it's really tough to wash um, if you get these shoes dirty since they're not very water resistant but overall with some scrubbing and some detergent you should be able to keep these shoes clean but they are trail shoes anyways they're meant to get dirty so you know that's not a you know big uh, deal for a lot of people um, also the insole you can take out as well which is pretty much the same as last year so overall very comfortable ride feels just like the Pegasus Trail 2 it's a great all-purpose trail shoe that you can pretty much do anything um, it's not specifically tailored to a certain terrain, like very hard rocks or uh, things like that. And they do have trail shoes that are more rugged for those kind of terrain. But So in my opinion, if I were to decide between the trail two or three, I'd probably end up getting the two for the discount. It's pretty much the same exact shoe. Um, there wasn't really much issues I had with the trail two. The fit was very similar. Uh, as long as you, you know, get your size right, uh, for most people, they might be surprised at the shoe feels a little bit bigger than it is um, so I, I ended up going up down half the size uh, from my normal running shoe size and uh, for the discount I think the trail 2 might be worth it but if you like the new feel and the lockdown of the upper I'd say 
can get the Trail 3, $130. You know, it's going to be, the price is going to be very similar, even with the discount on the Pegasus Trail 2. So, Nike Pegasus Trail 3, nice little change on the upper, nothing, you know, spectacular or major. Um, you know, it's a great choice for an all terrain uh, trail shoe that you could use for walking, running, or just, you know, minor, you know, terrain. That's nothing like mountain climbing or anything like that. I probably recommend something else, but this is a great do it all uh, shoe, the Nike Pegasus Trail 3. So thank you guys for watching this video. I'd love to hear your feedback on what do you think of the Trail 3. Is this a minor update and you probably skip on it or there's other trail shoes that you enjoy? I'd love to hear what you guys use for trail running. If you guys have any other comments, feedback, or questions, please feel free to leave them down below. If you hope you guys are staying safe out there and your training is going well, and I'll talk to you guys on the next run.